Dr. Walker, please, I mean, don't keep us in suspense. Because no one else you tested was compatible to donate part of their liver to our son. Doctor, is Jane a donor match for Jonathan? Yes. Oh! Jane is a match. Oh, my God, thank God we can save our little boy. Well, now Gwendolyn doesn't have to uh, tell Ethan that he's little Ethan's father, and her and her mother can continue to use my secret to keep you and Ethan apart. <sighs> Doctor, thank you so much for your help. Oh, you're quite welcome. I'll let your parents and Gwen's mother know we found a donor match in Jane, so they don't worry. I'd appreciate that. Sure. Well, now that we know Jane is a compatible donor for Jonathan, we don't need to tell Ethan about little Ethan. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Okay, what is that supposed to mean? Yes, what are you thinking? I mean, I want what's best for Jonathan, but... Just because Jane is a compatible donor with Jonathan doesn't mean she will actually be Jonathan's donor. What are you getting at? Well, there are risks involved if Jane were to donate part of her liver. So I have to wonder if those risks are too great for her to actually be Jonathan's donor. Teresa, what are you saying? Wait. Are you, are you refusing to allow Jane to be Jonathan's donor? Jane has to be the donor. There is no one else. Really? I wonder. I knew you were mean and hateful, but to let my son die? You always assume the worst about me, Gwen. With good reason. Hold on a second. What do you mean that there could be another donor for Jonathan besides Jane? Well, I just um, think that there has to be someone somewhere on a donor list uh, who would be a match with Jonathan. We checked. There isn't. That you know of. Well, yes. Excuse me, am I, am I, am I missing something here? Well, it, it's just that everyone assumes that just because Jane is a compatible uh, donor with Jonathan that I'm just going to allow her to be you know, chopped open and have part of her liver cut out to give to your son with Gwen. I mean, that to me sounds extremely risky. And Dr. Jonas also said that because of her young age, it would make it even more risky. And I want Jonathan to be all right. But Jane is my little girl, and I need to protect her. So you are willing to let Jonathan die just to keep Jane safe? I want what's best for all of Ethan's children, Gwen. <laughs>